is a different lineup for them out in uh, lane one. The European champions, the world champions, Slovakia. This is their distance, but they were only third in the 1,000 meters. But to be fair, Malcolm, they are so much more effective at 500. Yeah, they're so strong. It's such a power event. This it's a big, heavy boat. 35 kilos of boat and about 350 kilos worth of big strong men in there it's a lot of heavy boat to move along and the Slovakians particularly are extremely strong and extremely powerful but we'll have to watch our moves Germany lane one there having a great regatta so we can't discount them but also some of the middle lanes we've got the Belarusians Hungarians in lane four as well they'll be vying for the top places with Slovakia so this uh, K4500 again it's a, an Olympic class but only the top six boats can be in a sense uh, certain of getting into no sorry it's non-Olympic I beg your pardon um, so no qualification here no, that's right, but it is a K4 event, it's a big important K4 event, so a good chance to get real top-level practice for those that are hoping to go to the Olympics in the longer 1000 meter event. So, the Europeans, again, should be uh, very much to the uh, fore here. In fact, if you look down the start list, uh, not a single non-European country represented in this final. <laughs> And so many of the boats here originate in Portugal, Nello, I suppose you'd say it's the boat of choice these days. Well it is, they've really cornered the market, um, I know the British team like them because Nello will go out of their way to do things for the fittings, the seats that the paddlers have, the footrests are all done properly, if you have a problem at the World Championships you can go to Nello and say look can I have another seat, can I change the footrest, they'll do it straight away. So they provide a great backup service to the teams. So watch out for the uh, Slovaks, Richard and Michal Ritzdorfer, Eric Vilcic and Jure Tai. One change in that boat from last year, Robert Urban is the man who's not in the boat. But uh, away they go on the closest side to you. You've got uh, Sweden in the yellow vest and the blue uh, kayak now. And that's a pretty even start. Yeah, it is. It's hard to get a K4 away. You've got to really build the power into the boat, but it looks like it's going with Belarus, who are infamous starters, but also now we've got Slovakia beginning to move up on them. Yeah, Slovakia moving up, but uh, Belarus still with the edge. Two from the top there. Serbia also going uh, very strongly, and 250 metres already over, and this is not easy. Serbia, though, uh, just giving way as Slovakia really power through. Now they've got to sustain this through the final half of the race here, and it is uh, the Ritzdorfer boys who are powering away, and this is an impressive performance. It was very nip and tuck in Sheged, but this looks as if it could be a little bit more clear cut now and this is fantastic paddling what is this 160 strokes a minute well, that's right and they're keeping it beautifully this really looks at the moment a demonstration run from the Slovakians so once they got away from the start they built the boat speed they're really going for it now being chased by Hungary though Hungarians closing on them the gap is narrowing down but still uh, it is the Slovakians by quarter of a length of the kayak and they come through to win this in fact it's not the Hungarians it is Belarus who take it uh, in second place that's right and the Serbians Hungarians fighting out there for the third spot I think but real uh, dominant performance there from Slovakia it's difficult to win by half a boat length in the K4s it's very difficult to pull that sort of distance out in a big heavy boat but they did that in the middle part of the course I think the important point though is uh, as uh, I, I was getting muddled up at the beginning this isn't the Olympic boat class what they've really got to do is to produce that sort of performance in the 1000 meter Olympic class where they were only third earlier in the day uh, yesterday I mean that's right yeah they've really got to work on their endurance that's the important thing for the 1000 meter K4 so uh, Slovakia and then Serbia there's good run from them and Hungary so the Serbians you know underlining their improving form particularly at these 200 and 500 meter distances yeah that's right the shorter distances the, the Serbians are doing well but they really need if they want to go to the Olympics they want to have good results at the Olympics they've got to work again on their endurance for the, for the longer distances we can see the Slovakians there looking good good timing 
they're very strong guys you can see that all putting every ounce of power they've got into driving the boat forward it's interesting they don't even really have a proper regatta course in Slovakia not yet um, they're trying to find the money but um, and I'm sure it'll come because uh, such is the passion for the sport well, it's actually the Slovakian police. I know some of the guys, the athletes, are, are, are policemen in Slovakia, and it's, that's how they get the financial support. And there it is, uh, Slovakia, Belarus, and Hungary, Russia, Romania, Serbia. Uh, well, actually, hang on a second. They were saying, uh, now, I'm somewhat confused about that, but we said Serbia, but in fact it is Belarus.